Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Gunner Vlog. Today I want to talk to you about transfers. Uh, no surprise there, it's been the theme for most of the summer. I want to talk about three player situations today. First off, a possible incoming Thomas Lamar. I think there's a little bit of bad news for Arsenal this morning. Uh, and that news is that Bakayoko, the Monaco central midfielder, is having a medical with Chelsea in a £40 million deal. And second of all, that City are set to follow up uh, the signing of Kyle Walker by spending another £50 million on Benjamin Mendy, the left-back from Monaco. Um, I mean, extraordinary sums of money on two fullbacks, but there you go, that's the way the market seems to be going. I suppose my concern is that having already lost Silver and some other key players, will Monaco keep selling their stars? Can they keep doing it? Especially if they're intent on keeping Kylian Mbappe. If they want Mbappe to stay, surely they need some sign of ambition. Surely they need to keep hold of somebody. <laughs> and Lamar could be that guy. I mean, tellingly, Mendy did not fly out with Monaco for their pre-season training camp. Lamar did. And in fact, Monaco's next fixture is tomorrow against, of all teams, Stoke City. Could he be in action for them against the Orcs? Who knows? But um, Arsenal so keen on Lamar. Arsene Wenger seemingly absolutely enamoured with the player. Prepared to go as high as £50 million from what we read. But Monaco holding out, standing firm. And I do wonder, with £100 million there or thereabouts coming in for a couple of other players, you know, are they in a position where they need to sell? Certainly not. And maybe they think if we keep hold of Lamar, his value might even go up in the next 12 months. Certainly the way things are spiralling in the transfer market that's a possibility. Uh, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, having given his situation some thoughts, he has gone on tour with Arsenal, so I wouldn't expect anything absolutely imminent. But really, it's got to be sign or be sold for Oxlade-Chamberlain. And there's two real reasons for that. One is that central midfield is a problem area we need to address this summer. Either he signs and he's part of that solution, or he goes and we bring in a replacement, because we need to be certain what's happening in that, that area of the park. We need someone to compete with and cover for Aaron Ramsey and Granit Xhaka. Oxlade-Chamberlain wants it to be him. If it's not going to be him, if he's going to go elsewhere, then we need somebody else. It's as simple as that. And we need resolution on that soon. We can't let this drag on, certainly past the transfer window, hopefully before the end of the season. End of the season? Beginning of the season. That gets resolved. Um, and finally, Theo Walcott. I mean, after the friendly against Sydney FC, I read a lot of criticism of Theo Walcott's performance. I mean, it's only a friendly game. I don't think we should go too far into it. But, you know, his place in the squad is in some doubt. In the three of the back system, there's no obvious room for him tactically. However, I think he's going to be with the squad next season. I think if you're not a Walcott fan, you should probably start resigning yourself to that. And the reason is simple. There is doubt over the future of Alexis Sanchez. There is doubt over the future of Olivier Giroud. And with that in mind, Arsenal could stand to lose an awful lot of goals this summer. I know they've brought in Lacazette, but Arsene Wenger will be looking at that, and I know he thinks about it like this. We've heard him talk about it. He looks at the goal tally and thinks, who can I rely on to get me 10 to 15? Who can I rely on to get me 20? Who can I rely on to get me 5? He'll be looking to make up, you know, 100 goals this season. And he'll view Walcott as someone who can make a big contribution to that, even if he's only somebody who gets on in Europa League games or in the last 20 minutes of matches. Walcott does score goals. And that will be in Arsene's mind. And I think if Alexis is agitating, if Giroud is agitating, I don't think he's going to contemplate letting Walcott go, even if he isn't the best tactical fit for the side right now. I think he'd also struggle to find a buyer, to be honest, someone who could pay his wages. Um, anyway, there you go. Thoughts on three players. Little Daisy the dog's just come in. Do you want to say hi, Daisy? Daisy. Hello. This is my mum's dog, Daisy. Say hi. Hello. Uh, let me know what you think of Lamar, uh, Oxlade Chamberlain, and Walcott. Where will they be next season? Um, and let me know what you think of Daisy as well. As long as it's nice, she's a very lovely dog. Don't be mean. Um, anyway, I'll be back tomorrow with another on the whistle. I'm going to watch the the second friendly against Western Sydney Wanderers. I believe it is. So for more on that, do subscribe. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.